This is Edgar. He is the alpha male of a long-tailed macaque troop living near the Bukit Timah Nature Reserve, where the oldest patch of undisturbed tropical rainforest in Singapore is found. Rainforests are the richest type of habitat on Earth, and yet they are disappearing at an alarming rate all over the tropics. This is no exception in Singapore. While our forests are small in size, they are home to many species of plants and animals such as the long-tailed macaque. Like many native animals living around the central catchment, macaques are seed dispersers who are integral to the regeneration of our forests. Long-tailed macaques are one of three non-human primates in Singapore and have been living together with humans on this island for a long time. Just like how neighbours don't always get along, conflicts have arisen between humans and macaques. Edgar over here, well, he's addicted to human food, unfortunately. And because of that, he's developed something of a bad reputation among his human neighbours. You see, us humans feeding macaques over the years have caused them to associate people, cars and takeaway bags with an easy alternative to foraging naturally for food. Macaques find our food yummier, more addictive because it's higher in sugar and fat compared to their natural diet. Edgar's family members, such as Anna and her baby Sam, have also taken to this bad habit of scavenging human food rather than forage in the forest. The macaques at Bukitima seem to have caused quite a kerfuffle in their misguided quest to obtain human food, sometimes going so far as to snatch plastic bags from park visitors or raid houses and garbage bins for food. This is a bad thing for a number of reasons. Firstly, as macaques seek out vehicles for potential food opportunities, the risk of road accidents will increase. Secondly, human food is unhealthy for macaques, possibly increasing their risk for diabetes and cardiovascular diseases. Lastly, without them foraging in the wild for fruit, the macaques might lose their crucial ecological role as seed dispersers, and the process of forest regeneration in their habitats could be badly affected. These behavioural changes created will be long-lasting and difficult to alter, creating a vicious cycle that can only be stopped if we humans make the necessary behavioural changes as well. As responsible park goers, we ought to educate ourselves on the do's and don'ts of observing wildlife. Keep food out of sight. Avoid the use of plastic bags. Avoid flash photography. Don't taunt or approach the animals. One rule that we JGIS volunteers follow, keep a 3 meter distance from the macaques whenever possible. With the newly amended Wildlife Act, feeding of wildlife anywhere in Singapore, including within your own premises, will be an offence. First time offenders could be fined up to $5,000, and repeated offenders could be fined up to $10,000. We should also be mindful of eliminating sources of food that might otherwise cause unintentional feeding, such as food waste that isn't disposed of properly. Dr. Jane Goodall once said, three years is enough for wild animals in an urban environment to lose the habit of scavenging human food and return to their natural diet if people stop feeding them. Only with consistency and cooperation will we see positive change. <laughs>